Welcome to Crashing with Friends. My name is Kyle Hobbs, your host. This week I'm joined by Jackson Brayman, Connor, Sam, <clears throat> your boy Josh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, it's good to have you guys this week. <sighs> it's been a crazy week. Slap her around the world. Yep. <laughs> we'll get into that in a second. Uh, so, Jack, how was your week? Eh, can't complain too much. Saw, I don't know, some movies that I haven't seen in a long time. And uh, played video games. That's about it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> nothing too exciting. If you're curious about the movies that I watched, I was on a Tom Hanks binge. So I watched Saving Private Ryan and, uh, shit, what was the other one that I watched? Well, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> and we will. Forrest Gump? Or? No, it wasn't Forrest Gump. Okay. Uh, You've got mail? Was that time cast away? No. None of those movies. <laughs> uh, I'm literally drawing the a true, true? blank. The no, one, not the true true. <laughs> I cannot see myself the... seeing Cloud Atlas. <laughs> Cloud Atlas, that's a. Yeah. I... <laughs> the one with him and the dog. <clears throat> Turner Hooch. Finch. No. Finch, Finch, yes. Finch. I think it was Finch. No, it, it's another <laughs> like highly acclaimed Tom Hanks movie, but I forgot what it was. Toy Story. You've got mail. No. Mm. Damn. Why did I have to think on that? <laughs> <laughs> Sleepless in Seattle. No, it wasn't a romance. What, it wasn't romance? Okay. What kind of movie yeah. was it? Get stuck I don't in know. It's really bothering me now that I can't remember it. Are we playing for points? <laughs> <laughs> What happens in the movie? What happens? See, I'm drawing a complete <laughs> blank of like what I, I <laughs> Did you even watch this movie or did you think about watching it? I think I thought about watching it. <laughs> nice. Was it a war movie? Uh, no, Save and Private Ryan was. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> was it Save and Private Ryan? No, it was not Save and Private mm. Ryan. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, man. <clears throat> Talk about Saving Private Ryan for about 30 seconds. Boy, that sniper scene... Where Vin Diesel gets taken down. It's pretty hardcore. Uh, dude. Yeah. There's multiple moments in that movie where it just makes you go, ah, dude. Mm-hmm. When uh, the medic gets shot and he's just like, yeah. Mama? Yeah. Mama? Uh, oh, yeah. That's so oh. awful. Mm. The Green Mile? Yes. Oh, hell it hell was the Green Mile. That. Connor gets the points. Dude, Dang it. I, I swiped Tom Hanks and it typed in Tim Tank. <laughs> <laughs> I want to read that dude, man. <laughs> yeah, The Green Mile. That's also such a great movie. I've rewatched both of those. Hell yeah, dude. I also watched another movie, but I'm saving that for my yo, dude. And I'll tell you more about that later. Mm, do you have to stick around for the whole podcast? Stick around for that. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Connor, what about you? How was your week? Uh, pretty good. Uh, didn't really do a whole lot besides uh, a little bit of exercising, a little bit of games, um, Elden Ring, the slap. Uh, nice. F1 race on Sunday. That was pretty crazy. Yeah. Apparently there was like a uh, like a oil refinery bombed like that weekend. Yeah, and I didn't even know anything about it. Yeah pretty wild you know so uh, but the race was good there wasn't any incidents so thank god for that but uh yeah um good race mclaren had one car retire but we did get one one driver in seventh so that was pretty good but uh aside from that yeah just chilling hanging with my boys wow it's very insightful and i don't have kids so like these boys right <laughs> You also got a haircut. You're looking pretty good. Thank you. Sharp as a tech. Right. Well, thanks, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, I, I went and got a haircut. Um, I'm just going to steal some time right here. I went and got a haircut, and it was the weirdest thing happened, dude. I was sitting there in the chair asking her, her to fix to do my hair and stuff, and she was asking what I wanted. She starts shaving, doing, doing the thing. I'm explaining the whole process to you guys, but after like she's done with my haircut, she she quickly... Shaves my eyebrows. <laughs> Have you guys ever had that happen to you? I noticed that your eyebrows look different, and I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> what the fuck's up with your eyebrows? <laughs> 
<laughs> so she just turned him up a little bit, made him, yeah. made him even. And if she's listening, I love this. She's a, she's awesome. She's a good uh, hairstylist. But yeah, she instantly did it, and I was like, whoa! I was like, she just what was the deal here? She's like, oh, they're just, just a little little long, and I was like, okay. It's like whatever. <laughs> where, where hey, do you a go? woman knows, okay? It, uh, that's completely true. My wife is <laughs> always talking crap on my eyebrows, I, especially if they get ruffled up. She like has to look away <laughs> and like fix them before she can even look at me. I think I'm gonna start plucking mine out and doing that thing Grandma did and just put in like pink eyeliner or whatever. <laughs> or you could get those cool liner. like uh, like my friend at work. His name is Lee. Uh, no, that's not that's not the, the correct story I'm trying to tell you. His name is Kiefer. He was on last week. His wife wants uh, those the eyebrow tattoo? tattoos, you yeah. know. But uh, yeah, if like, you get them done right, they look good, right? Yeah. And Lanny's yeah. got them from shipping. She does yeah, have them. Yeah, tell tell him to go check those out. They look she, real, dude. They do look real, don't they? Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> Keep going. No, you're right. <laughs> I've I've seen, seen, yeah. I mean, how often are you really getting too close to detail with somebody's eyebrows to see if they're right. real or not? You know, you just right. assume that they're automatically real. So, I saw this one dude get like a shit ton of black dots on his bald head, and it actually yeah. kind of looked like some hair was like, was there, like <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. He kind of had like uh, the baby head thing from Toy Story going on. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Maybe that's like tink tink. Yeah. <laughs> tink, tink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they like they like lined him up and everything in the front, dude. It was, yeah. it was clean. Yeah. Speaking of uh, crazy tattoos, like today I went to Popeyes. There was this guy that was uh, working in the back. He had like a Majin Boo. Tattooed. <laughs> what? That tattooed on his, like right on his forehead, like some musical notes, like on his like cheek there. Ah, uh, man. I'm trying to think what else he had. He had something on his neck that I was like, oh, he's got that tattoo on his neck. Like, that's that's cool. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, you said so much, like, done all over his face, like a crazy spiral-looking thing on his neck. And it was just Dang. a spiral. It wasn't anything else crazy. Just a spiral on his neck. Shit. Right. That's, that that Majin Buu tattoo is bold, but yeah, I respect dude. it. Oof. Yeah, he, he's making sure he got all corners of the face, the you know, the middle here, you got the outside down here, mm -hmm. underneath both right here. I think he had something on his chin as well. I want to get, um, like, glow-in-the-dark tattoos, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I think that'd <laughs> yeah. be cool. That I look normal throughout the day, then, like, the lights go out, and I look like a like a freak, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they Dude just wants like to look like a freak. Like a walking-around skeleton guy, you know? That'd be sick. Yeah. Man, I, I saw this article... Like, couple months ago this guy he's slowly turning himself into an alien like slowly like mm, yeah. changing his body and everything and like the article i saw said he finally had got these two fingers cut off of both of his hands the right. pinky and the the, 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 the brain yeah, the brain. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> Whatever you call the next finger over, we'll call it the brain. Uh, the ring the, finger? Yeah, the, the ring finger, yeah. The God. one that holds the ring. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like you'd rather have, like, these two cut off. I mean, your middle two, because then you'd have, like, a... Web shooter? <laughs> or... You could always do, like, the... Oh, peace, love. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I was going to say, or you could have, like, your fingers kind of tapered... So, like, the middle one's longer, and then the other ones are kind of drastically shorter. I don't know. I bet he instantly was like, oh, okay, that was a bad idea. When he, once he went and tried to, like, eat some food or something, <laughs> he was like, oh, bad idea. I have no longer anything to stabilize the fork. I wonder if the first thing <clears throat> that he did was masturbate. He's like, man, I cannot wait to try out these <laughs> three brawn hands, man. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a whole lot of texture there. That's the first thing that's on my mind I'm getting surgery on my hands is like, man, how's how is rubbing one out gonna feel after surgery? That's, that's I'm just saying, something you've been used to your whole life is gonna be 
dramatically changed <laughs> after that. This guy's turning into an alien, Jackson. I don't think he cares about, like, human masturbation. He's got some alien thing he's doing. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, fucking the vacuum or something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Vacuuming his butt. Yes. Definitely not his hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sam, uh, how's your week been, man? Oh, uh, so-so. It's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. That's the best I can tell you, really. Nice. Other than just going to work, getting home, playing Ghost Recon. That is literally it. Nice. Laundry pile keeps getting bigger, and I just keep playing games. So. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Ghost Recon? Uh, Wildlands and Breakpoint. Okay. Ghost, so. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Has it gotten better? I heard that game was really bad when it first came out. Those are the only two I played. I really don't know any other mm-hmm. Ghost Recon. So, mm-hmm. but cool. That's literally it. I don't know. Just go to work, go to the grocery store. A simple life. <laughs> it, <it's, laughs> oh man, whenever my kids are home, that's a different story. Yeah. But yeah, literally, that's about it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Going to work, goofing off, pissing off my boss. Yep. So it was a good time. <laughs> and David. Little Davey. <laughs> okay. Yes? About how was your week? It was good. I watched Jackass Forever last night. What'd you think of that? I loved it. What'd you think about the penis? Great. I honestly do. There wasn't as much as I thought there would be in there. You guys made it sound like legit, like half the stunts, all everyone's going to be naked. Well, you trying are. to tell me that <clears throat> we were wrong in that? I mean. Okay, well, in one of them, Chris <laughs> Pontius had his wiener tucked, so that doesn't count. True. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, there was there was a lot of wang, but, like, I mean, it's, There's a, lot of wang, it's a jackass movie, dude. Yeah, it is jackass. What was your favorite skit out of the whole thing or stunt dude uh, i don't know because the final one was freaking awesome but the uh probably the vulture scene yeah it was the best that was my favorite one too but definitely an honorable mention to the uh, the uh, silence of the lambs deal where they like locked them all in the room and they thought the snake was out (laughs) and the one where chris have you seen it no uh, dang i don't want to Anything, but oh, yeah. I doubt I'll see it. The but whole I'm dark room stuff is probably my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Like I've Chris, seen some skits. Chris Pontius, man, I was laughing so hard my stomach hurt when I saw him in there, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like everything he did in that movie was hilarious. Oh yeah, but he's I, the real star. Yeah, so yeah Chris Pontius yeah. was my favorite. And like, obviously, all the new guys, like, um, they they did pretty good. Poopies. <laughs> yeah. After watching uh this new movie and they. Brought back that uh, vulture skit that you're talking about, which is an old Wild Boys Dude. skit. Oh my god! It just made me think, like, man, why don't they bring back Wild Boys? Wild Boys <laughs> needs Wild to come Bo- back in some capacity. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it was really good though. Really yeah. well done. I was watching uh, Ridiculousness, and some woman from that movie—I don't remember her name. She had a like a specific like Wolfson or something. Katie Wilson? Is, is that her name? I think that's her name. I'm the not sure. The chick that went to kiss or lick a scorpion or whatever? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. No. No. Oh, yeah. She no. got the scorpion uh-uh. Botox or whatever? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they had, a, they had a quite a few guest stars in there. I was so happy to see Jaws in there, man. Like, he's like one of my favorite skateboarders ever. Rachel <clears throat> Wolfson. Oh, uh, yeah. Cool. I flubbed up that name. Say you're sorry. Hell, I'm surprised. Sorry, I'm... Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I remember last name, but yeah, she's more of a man than I'll ever be. I'm not guessing a freaking. Yeah, scorpion. I know. And they're like, "You want to go again?" She's like, "Yeah, fuck it." I'm like, "Dude, what?" Like, <laughs> yeah, and the taser, bro. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. The thing is, if you were to offer me that kind of money, I would no problem do both of those things. Yeah, because that shit could happen to you, and you would not get paid. You know, you're sleeping. Yeah, boom, it happens. You yeah. never know. Crazy shit happens all the time. So get paid for it. Why not? You know. Yeah, there, there's one deal though. Like after watching that movie, man, Johnny Knoxville is the freaking real OG, man. Like oh, yeah. he he re re solidifies himself as like the pimp daddy and jackass man mm-hmm. in that <laughs> one. I won't go into it, but that big dude takes a real hard slam though, man. <laughs> When he's on that, he does like a launch off that bike or whatever. That 
Oh the yeah, the motorbike. <laughs> when they're all like the, hu- I think it's the human ramps, right? Yeah, you know what's going on? Yeah, Love yeah, that dude, one. that guy takes a hit when he falls, man. It takes a all lot that, of hits, man. All that weight, man. Oof. Yeah. When they do yeah. like body surfing in the desert. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck that. I also, no, I'm, uh, I'm like tightening up and like, <laughs> this, like, like thinking about some of the stuff they do. Mm-hmm. So. Great movie though. Yeah. Um. Also. I'm almost finished. I started watching like the original Dragon Ball series from the eighties. Oh, cool, dude! It, it's freaking nice. hilarious, it's funny. man. Oh my god! Did you god. finish Super though? No, 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 no. bastard. <laughs> I'm moving pretty slow through that actually, but uh, Dragon Ball's Dragon Ball's pretty good. I'm getting farther in Elden Ring for sure. I did a lot since last week. Uh, I beat Radon. Did, did I tell you I beat Radon last me, week? Yeah, you told me about that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm getting farther though. <laughs> yeah, I just went through Necron or Nocron or whatever it's called. And Eternal City. Yeah, um, and then I did some more Ronnie's quests and like I don't really know where to go after that, so I'm just doing some extra stuff. But I respect into strength, and now I've got these like two halberds that are badass, just dual halberds. Hell yeah! But I'm pretty comfortable. I can like kind of breeze through the rest of the game at this point. I'm like level 72, <clears throat> so I'm like, just type a few loose ends and then I'm just going to go for it. Oh yeah? There's a shit ton of more game left. That's crazy. I know. Uh, I'm getting the getting the feeling that I'm not even close. I did go up on like the, uh, you know the Altus Plateau, there's that big golden city. Uh-huh. I was going up there because I was trying to get up to the Mountain of Giants, and like I, I went all the way around, and there was no way to get up there, because the bridge was broken. So I'm like... I guess I'll just go somewhere else. But in like I figured that Golden City was probably the, the the end of the game. So I'm like, I don't really want to go there yet. But I don't know. I might go there next and see. There's a lot of tough ass enemies over there. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm in the volcano manor right now. At the last oh, boss okay. of that. There's like four bosses in that area. But I'm at the final boss and Is that Moog or whatever? Um, it's like the this god eating serpent thing. Oh, okay. But it's like, it's one of the bosses where you get like a spear at the beginning of the boss fight that you have to use to take down the boss or whatever. Oh, shit. And like, it's got two phases and the second phase is crazy. Like just, it, it kind of reminds me of uh, the Lost in Space movie. The main bad guy, I don't know if you know him, but he like turns into like a spider person. That's right. Yeah. Kind of the same thing, but like with a giant snake kind of. It is very That's creepy. crazy, man. But uh, <clears throat> yeah. A lot of game, a lot of optional stuff, but yeah, it's fun. dude, I, I can't believe how much. Like, I feel like I've almost beat the game right now, but then I, I like go online and I'm like, I read, you know, man, like a mandatory story bosses in order kind of type article because I'm trying to figure out where to go, and I'm like maybe a third. Same. Like, yeah. Holy shit, dude! And I'm like at, at almost fifty hours right now, so. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> that was my week. How was your week, Kyle? <laughs> yeah, my week was really good, actually. Um, yeah, I feel good. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, I've been playing Half Life Two. Oh yeah. I beat Half Life uh, One, which I re- I really I beat the remake, which is called Black Mesa. Mm. With uh, and that game just has updated graphics and they redid the last level which is called Zen. They redid that level, but that's called Black Mesa. I beat that last year. So the whole goal, <coughs> excuse me, the whole goal is to play Half Life Alex in VR, and I got to beat all this Half Life to get to that point. Mm-hmm. So, but man, Half Life Two is crazy because I remember watching G Four as a kid in two thousand four, which is when the Half Life Two came out. And it was like either Halo or Half Life was constantly all you were seeing on G4 TV and like the media and stuff like that. And I just remember tons of video of seeing the the gravity gun mm-hmm. and the, the saw blades that you fired everybody and just oh, seeing yeah. all that <clears throat> stuff. And it's just it's kind of surreal playing it because I'm like, wow, this is way better than any game I would have been playing in 2004. Like Halo is great and all, and like all those games are great, but the story in Half Life. Two is so crazy and so much fun. Like some of the parts, I'm like, this is crazy that I'm playing this, and it feels like it's almost like a modern game. Mm-hmm. Some spots, some spots, it does feel like it's dated. 
Especially in the weapon switching. The weapon switching in both those games is god awful. It's so bad. Yeah. Mm. But isn't, isn't there a part in that game where you're like on like a speedboat going through like ditches? Yeah. Like drainage that's like, ditches. <clears throat> yeah, I was playing that part and I got to this part where I had to fight all these bugs that looked like they were from Starship Troopers. Yeah. And they were chasing me like crazy, and I got to the spot where I had to jump off, um, kill all these crazy looking they look like hell gas. I don't know what the bad guys are called. The combine, is it they're called? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Combine. The combine. I had to fight all these combine. I had to go through all this part and I had to get a crane, lift this car up, move this car across the bridge. And I got to that part and I'm like, oh shit, I don't have my car anymore. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, I left that a level back. And this game is all about loading spots. You'll get a loading screen, and then you'll see the you'll see the next level's words pop up. So I was like, okay, I gotta backtrack and get back to where I left my car. But where I left my car, the game started like lagging on me hardcore. And <clears throat> every time I would throw a, throw a grenade, it would freeze in the air. Every time I'd get in my car, it wouldn't move. So I, that's why I left it there. I'm like, okay, the game's glitching out. I'm just gonna continue forward. And when I would try to go backward, it kept crashing on me, and then it auto saved. On the crash, <laughs> oh, I was like, "Oh no!" and just kept auto saving every every time I would do it. It it auto saved over all my all my past auto saves, so all I had was a save like an hour back. But the cool thing is, since it's an older game, they have it set up to where you can pretty much speed run and not fight anybody. So mm. I knew where everything was going to spawn. I knew how to finish all the puzzles. So I literally did a whole hours with the content in about like ten minutes. Nice. It was just like nice. I fled through the whole thing. It was actually pretty fun. I was like, wow, I should just do this more often. But I was like, how am I going to do this if I don't know where I'm going in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> that's been really fun. And then that Lakers show, Winning Time, on HBO, continues to be one of the best TV shows I've ever seen. Um, today. Moon Knight came out. I watched that. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really liking where the story goes. I know nothing about Moon Knight, which is always fun. All I've read is just a couple things periphery-wise just to see what's going on. And I have not... I don't know anything about the characters, which is nice. So Seems like a badass. So. He does seem like a badass. Yeah, it seems like the main character has to relinquish his body to let the Mark Spector guy take over. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty rad. But, uh... I'm really enjoying that so far. Yeah, is that the guy in, in white? Yeah, the guy in white. Yeah, yeah, I just seen it. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that's really cool looking. That's played by Oscar Isaac, and he's one of my favorite actors in Hollywood. Yeah, so good. Him and Pedro Pascal are like my favorite two right now. For sure. Right. Yeah. And Florence great. Pugh. Mm. <laughs> Florence Pugh is great. <laughs> but uh. For Davey. Yeah, that's been my week. I'm me and my wife are going through Succession right now. Like the last season of the, the, that have just come out, um, we're on like episode six right now. How many episodes are in the season? Like nine or ten? Or of what? Sorry, Succession. <laughs> I think it's ten. I want to say. I think nice. nine actually. Oh uh, really? Because it was okay. one of those seasons that was cut a little short due to the pandemic. Oh. Uh, mm. okay. Yeah, we're going through that, and that show is ruthless and funny at the same time. Love it. But uh, that's been my week in a nutshell. Thanks for asking, little Davy. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Sam? What's up? This is Crashing with Friends. So, do you have any crashing stories? Uh, you see that brown on my face? Right there? Right there? Uh, no, not the really. You look good, man. <laughs> the road rash? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I woke up in an ambulance one time. And, uh, like, the main thing that, like, made me come to is... Uh, they put the IV in my hand. You ever had that? Yeah, yeah, I've had that before. That fucking hurts, dude. <laughs> like, like enough to like bring you back. Like, like yeah. woke me up and uh, yeah. Apparently, I was uh, I was on my bike and I they found me lying in the middle of the road. So damn, yeah. somebody hit you? Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Holy crap! And it wasn't like a a bike, like a motorcycle. It was a for like a forty year old version over here. He's like. Uh, what do you say? A bike sickle. So yeah, it's horrible. But yeah, uh, no helmet, right? Because why? No helmet. No, no, no. You're not cool if you wear a helmet. Yeah. Well, I was like sitting there thinking about it. Like that was like right here. Like helmets are up here. So right, yeah. I've been screwed either way. Yeah, so. like a full face helmet. Like who's gonna bike in a full face yeah. helmet? So, yeah. How old so, were you? I was uh, like 
19, something like that, maybe 20. It was like right before like all that snow that one year, like like two feet of snow. It was like 2011, something like that. So, okay. do you remember like where you were going or what you were doing? I was going home. I was uh, was working over on 32nd Street, in this little pud job, and riding my bicycle back. And last thing I remember <clears throat> was like two whole blocks before, and like all of that I don't remember. Dang. So, yeah. Hmm. Were you on the sidewalk, like right on the sidewalk? Or were you in the street? Or? Right in the middle of the street. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. And so, yeah. That's pretty uh, crazy, man. I felt that poke and like I'd come to and like, you ever been like knocked out? Yeah. You ever like, you know, it takes you a quick second. Uh-huh. Well, like somebody's like trying to talk to me and like flashing lights. I'm like getting pissed off. Like, what the <laughs> hell, dude? And he's like, what's your name? I'm like, Sam. And uh, he's like, who's the president? And I, I started uh, to Fuck say you. the president. Yeah, something like I, I, I couldn't remember. And I was getting mad. Barack, he goes, Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so uh, uh, they took me to uh, the ER. Give me two CAT scans, uh, an MRI, and uh, found out there's nothing wrong with my brain, nothing wrong with my bones, like no broken teeth, just nothing but rocks and a mm. big ass bill. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I say you got hit, bro. I yeah. Don't know, because I had to pick up like my bike from the uh, uh, the fire station. The tire was just all bent the hell out, and like totally all, like the bolts were gone. And so, like, it was just the only thing I was keeping it in was um, where the brakes come down, uh-huh. and that was that was the only thing holding on to it. So Whoa, it was it was dude. screwed. Yeah, Maybe so. it was aliens. Could have been. I mean, I wouldn't hurt if you know what I mean. But like, it was cool. <laughs> well, not down there, but they didn't find the microchip in the in the CT scan. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Crazy. Yeah, went back to the house and my brother seen it and everybody was like what the hell and so people were like trying to like do the exact same thing the nurses and everything did and, and like so like, i can feel like my teeth i can feel like my jaw i can feel my skull like it hurt like slap the pavement dude mm-hmm. that hurt and so like seth freaked out my uh, my twin brother and i guess he uh he went to go pee real quick and come back out because um i don't know long story short he fainted Right, well, uh, whenever he was peeing, <laughs> like, everything <laughs> hanging out, and, like, I guess, like, I don't know, just seeing me, and, like, just, it was just road rash all up my face, and in my ear, and everything, and shoulder, and so, I don't know, but that was one thing I do definitely remember, uh, whenever I got, like, out of the hospital, so everything's all patchy, Dang, but... Dude. <laughs> You like to make fun of your brother for fainting while peeing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> dick out and everything. I mean, it was, yeah. Poor guy. <laughs> when he fainted, did he, like, fall forward or back? He was. He said he was trying to lean up against the wall, but, like, this gravity, like, his body was leaning forward. And so, uh, he could have, I don't know. But I'm wondering, like, how much he had to clean up and just everything. Just, ugh. That's so funny. Sucks peeing on yourself, man. It's yeah. Not cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've done it a couple times. <laughs> yeah, I've accident. done it a couple times on accident and on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the basketball court. <laughs> hey, man. Sometimes you got to pee on yourself for fun. <laughs> you ain't cool until you pee your pants. <laughs> um, do you have any other crazy stories with your brother? Oh, shoot. Um, there was one time uh, we were mowing uh, yards, um, you know, just mowing grass for, you know, a couple bucks or whatever. There was one time we didn't see the dip and we were just goofing off and Seth was holding the uh, gas tank while he was sitting on like the push rider or a push mower. And I'm sitting there like just hauling ass down the street. I'm just like middle of the city and, you know, and uh, well, we hit a dip that I didn't freaking see. And both of us just go tumbling <laughs> in the middle of like the four way, like, April, we got like a uh, like a yard sale over here. We got kids over here, and me and my twin brother, we had like um, what you call it, gasoline in our faces and in our eyes and everything. Uh, we got scrapes and had with gasoline in those. Oh my it God. was so stupid. I mean, so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> but oh shoot, uh, I said I wouldn't forget one. Give me a minute, and I'll remember it. Hopefully, but yeah. <laughs> But, yeah, give me a minute. (laughs) (laughs) It'll come to you. Going back to funny pee stories. 
man. Gosh. There was one time, like, when, uh, I think it was, like, I was out of high school or something like that, but I wasn't old enough to drink yet, and I came home hammered one time. Like, someone just dropped me off, like, I had already been drinking, and, uh, like, I came home, and the first thing I, like, I had, like, a bunch of trash in my pocket, so I was like, all right, I gotta get rid of this trash, and I'm gonna go piss. Well, somehow, like, my brain connected both those thoughts. I just walked right into the kitchen and pulled my pants down and started pissing in the trash can. <laughs> and I, like, went, like, for, like, a full five seconds, and then I realized what I was doing. I was, like, I came out of my drunken state for just a small second, and I was, like... Jackson, you're pissing in the trash can. What are you doing? And then like a quick like pinch off, and then like it did like an awkward like holding my and then, like in my jeans like as I waddled over to the bathroom. But let me tell you, twenty feet is pretty far for a pinch off, man. Oh, old. Like he was saying, I need to change drawers after that. Oh my god. <laughs> She's like Jackson, you're pissing in your face. Stop. <laughs> I've yet to piss in my face. That's it. <laughs> actually, there was one time I um, I woke up. Um, not a good time in my life. Uh, actually, same house uh, from the um, road rash story. Uh, but uh, what should we call it? I woke up. Uh, everybody was around. You know, there was a party or whatever, and I thought somebody spilled something on me because, like, my leather belt. I mean, even that was soaked. Like, that was a lot of water that spilled on me. No, it wasn't water. It was pee. I just totally unleashed it while I was sleeping <laughs> on the couch and uh well I got kicked off the couch you know like I was you know totally for it because like some girl was gonna sleep she was tired by all means you know I was just being a gentleman about it and like realizing like you know I'm a totally in denial at this point I'm like I didn't pee my pants really. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and so I she goes there man yeah and so like <laughs> go ahead and sleep there yeah exactly <laughs> and so yeah and so me and my twin brother we wake up the next morning like still hammer we're just like goofing off watching Looney Tunes and this woman's got her face just buried in the freaking oh cushions God. and like oh, I'm man. sitting there just laughing with I know it's, it was bad it was oh funny oh my gosh yeah be in the face <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I knew someone that peed in a closet one time, and then like five minutes later, somebody like couple went in there, and then they did the thing in that closet, and I was like, bro, someone just pissed in that closet. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Kyle, did you pee in the closet? Was that you? <laughs> no. This is also during an age like I think I was like fourteen or fifteen when this happened, and I was like. People are having sex already, man. Like, I remember thinking that, and then like add the whole like pissing in a closet and then doing it in the closet story. I was like, man, y'all are wild. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what we're doing now? We're just having sex on top of pee. <laughs> just pissing in the closet and then going in there to have sex. All right. Hey, man. This is what life has become. I'm done with this. Oh, Dude, a lot heard? of a lot of Neosho <laughs> high schoolers were shameless as hell back in the day. Yeah. Man. Dude, no shit. <sighs> Not to mention, like, our grade specifically, mm -hmm. like class of 2010, we there was a shit ton of school fights, man. Mm -hmm. And we're not like Joplin High School, where there's a lot of kids going to the high school and there's fights that would probably happen all the time, maybe, or something like that, because there's just more kids. But Damn, dude, it just seemed like almost every single day there was, like, a crazy fight. And Keely Mathis would be one of the girls that'd be fighting and whooping everybody, man. <laughs> she would just ran. Whoever it was, it was, like, grab the hair and hammer fists. Oh, yeah, it. dude. <laughs> yeah. I remember one day I was getting out of band class, and someone's like, Keely's fighting in the, in the parking lot. And it was, like, in between classes, and she was beating the brakes out of this girl, dude. It was yeah. crazy, man. Every time I see her, I saw her fight. The other girl was always bloodied up. Yeah, I feel like I have that image frozen in my mind of Keely with a handful of hair, oh, and dude, like hammer yeah. fisting. Like she was yeah. so good at it. Yeah. Too. <laughs> yeah. Cool chick too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. she was cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mess with her. Yeah, she was cool. <laughs> When I was in high school, I was like, yo, if Keely was my girlfriend, she could just beat all the dudes up and try to keep fighting. Like, <laughs> she probably could have. She probably she a lot of those guys, would've, would've, A lot of those guys were scared of that chick, man. For I was scared reason. of her. And the thing is, nobody was, was scared hot. of her brother. <laughs> it was kind of hot. You thought she was hot? No, Jackson's. No, just being, just being scared of her oh. was kind of hot. I mean, I did have a crush oh, okay, on her in like you. seventh grade, right? 
something like that. Or eight, sixth grade. Yeah. David hey. likes all the girls. Yeah, yeah I, did, I did like all the girls. And all the girls <laughs> like David. <laughs> hey, you gotta bounce around. You gotta be- <laughs> <laughs> Going back to pee stories, so uh, <laughs> this one time, it was like the first time I got drunk, or no, it was actually the second time I got drunk, because I think the first time was with me and David, the second time we were at this party, right? And we'll, I can't believe you're going to tell the story. We'll talk about the party again some other time, but I'm just pinpointing the time I got pissed on. I can't believe you're telling the story. <laughs> We were so, young teens, man. It's it's excusable yeah, at this point. I was point. like 15, man. There was a keg at this party. I was drinking everything that was handed to me. More or less was at the point of like no return. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like so, the point of alcohol poisoning. If you, so yeah. I was, you know, fucking on my stomach, puking off the side of a porch for a while. <laughs> and everybody's like, dude, this girl's puking outside. And Kyle's like, no, that's my brother. <laughs> yeah, those long, beautiful yeah. blonde locks. Long blonde hair. But yeah, eventually I move into the house and I go and uh, I'm on the toilet, right? Face first in the toilet. And apparently I just pass out with my face like in the toilet, you know? And apparently this girl comes in and takes a piss while... My- Can I tell the rest of it? Sure, go ahead. Yeah. So I'm in, I'm, in this, <laughs> I'm in this one room. I'm laying in a bed. These people just come in the bed and start laying down on the bed and having sex right next to me on the bed. And I'm like, all right. And I get up. I'm like, I don't want any part of this. So I get up, go into the bathroom. And as I'm walking to the bathroom, I see this girl about to sit on your head, dude. And she's sitting down. As as I'm walking, it was like one fluid motion, her sitting down on your head. And I was like, no, my brother's head is in that toilet. Get up. And she almost started pissing on your head, dude. Okay, so I didn't get pissed on? You didn't get pissed on. No, it was, you were seconds, seconds away from getting pissed on, That's a brother for you. Yeah. I I thought that story was going to end with, and that's how I became asphyxiated with being peed on. (laughs) Yeah, and... I was in the I was in that party and someone's like, "Hey, there's a girl outside and she's face down, throwing up." <laughs> I want to. Uh... It's a shirtless girl. Yeah. <laughs> shirtless girl. <laughs> oh my god. I want to. I want to. I want to stay on this party for just a second. Oh my Connor god. and I bonded that night. <laughs> Do you remember how many times we thought cops pulled up? Oh, it was like, yeah. dude, it it was was like, like four every, times. It was like, yeah, every freaking 15 minutes, yeah, somebody, cops are here. Somebody yeah. pulled up, somebody screamed cops, and everyone started running. And Connor <laughs> and I were always together that night. We were yeah. like constantly together, and we always just had like a fresh beer from the keg. And as soon as somebody came up and they said, cops, 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 we would run together to the wood line. And then we'd be like, we'll just chill here and drink our beers. And then we'd look down and our cups were empty because we were running and running it sloshed all over the place. And then we'd go back up and we'd fill our drinks and we'd be hanging out and somebody would yell, cops, cops, cops. So we'd take off to the wood line and our cups would be empty again. Dude, we must have wasted like, I don't know, at least a 12 pack a just, beer, just in yeah. spilling beer running away. Like I remember oh one of those times people said cops, our cousin Kyle, the same one that Cut his arm and was <laughs> spewing blood everywhere like oh Spider-Man. God, dude, this story is great. <laughs> he was running, dude, and I see he was like probably five feet in front of me, and we're running into the we're running into pitch black, and I see him <laughs> hit the back of this truck, dude. <laughs> like you know, how the trucks have the back tailgate, and then like some some oh. some trucks. Uh, not the no, it's the bumper. Yeah, some trucks have a big bumper that's pronounced that comes off the side of the oh. truck. Oh, and he didn't see that this truck had a bumper that came off the side, and he hit this thing with one leg, and I just watch him do like a a three sixty front flip, <laughs> just like a spinning front flip. It was crazy, and just he's gone, and I just ran past. Like I hurled him, run past him, just keep going. He got laid out. So he got laid out, and that next day his leg was jacked. <laughs> Yeah, man, I can imagine. I remember that same party. One of our friends, we thought he cut the deer, cut the head off a bull, and threw it in a fire. Do you guys remember that? <laughs> yeah, what? Cool. Yeah, but it was just like a log Keith or Baker. We that thought he cut the head off a, a a bull and threw it in a fire. Yeah, it was like a, a thick like tree trunk. Yeah, it was like a tree trunk. Man, what a what a party! <laughs> Someone was look at Keith Baker and. Like, it just immediately assumed, like, oh, he just did some caveman shit. Yeah. Right. In that same party, there was <laughs> a guy named Pat Duncan yeah. that yeah. walked in. He oh, had God. just broken up with his girlfriend. Her girlfriend broke up with him. And he was, I remember he had, like, tears in his eyes. Like, he'd been crying. 
He sees Pat, or he sees a uh, Bo Kane right when he walks in, and picks up Bo and throws him straight up into an industrial ceiling fan. That was going. That was full on speed. full blast. That was yeah. on full blast. <laughs> yeah, like those huge fan blades, and it was just like bang, you know. And he was, yeah, he oh, got a huge gash out of it. He that. was gashed. Yeah, that was God. probably concussed as well. Dude, and, then, <laughs> and then everybody was like, "What the hell, man?" And this guy's like, "What six four? He was pretty." pretty beefy and like just total dude bro and he was like what 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 and everybody just like sat back down they're like Duncan? nothing man like, yeah. you need a hug oh, okay. yeah, it was yeah. two Pat Duncans I went to our school yeah. crazy right yeah. I was gonna say the Pat Duncan that I remember it was really short and like really and got short, beat up by one like, he was a whooping boy yeah like someone like, <laughs> I was wearing glasses one day and somebody was like like Jackson give me those glasses and then Pat Duncan like just barges in. He's like, no, Jackson, give me those glasses. I'll smoke them. He's like, that kind of, that's how I remember Pat Duncan. Yeah, he was. But yeah, back to that party. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember Joe, Bo's brother Joe, older brother Joe, he wrestles this girl that's going into the military, and she wrestles the shit out of him, dude. Gets him to submit. Like, you don't, you don't see very many dudes losing to girls in wrestling, you know? Yeah, and this chick hardcore. was, like, baller. Do you remember you her remember slamming that. his face up against that coffee table? Yeah, dude. Yeah. It was, like, a hardcore wrestling match, dude. It was, it like, was, yeah. it was insane. Dang. You remember it, right, David? No. Oh, you didn't? Okay. I might have been outside or something. Joe. I forgot about that, man. That was a wild night. Wild, man. yeah. yeah. Man, they don't make him like they used to, man. <laughs> <laughs> what a party, dude. The first time I ever did it, like a whole bunch of stuff. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. What a party. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So let's get into the slap heard around the world, as Connor mentioned. Oh, yeah. Yes. Will Smith straight up walking up to Chris Rock and slapping the shit out of him. What do you guys think about this thing? <laughs> well, you know what? Some people say that Will Smith was right to do it. Some people say that it was wrong for him to do it. Some people play, place all the blame on Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna blame the writer that wrote the joke that Chris Rock had to say. <laughs> I'm gonna blame him because it wasn't just a Chris Rock joke. I bet he thought of that joke right as he's about to walk out. He, he probably saw her from behind the curtains. Saw she was wearing a green dress and had shaved head. He's like, "Oh, that'd be funny. That'll kill." And he walked out there and it did not kill. And the thing is, Will Smith laughed at first. Right? Right, exactly. Yeah. No, the joke killed. People were laughing. I mean, well, you, but can, you can kill the like, mood. You can <laughs> yeah. laugh at something when you feel awkward or something like that. Like the kind of like I don't know. Instead of just like looking mad, you like try to laugh it off. But honestly, it was right when Jada Pinkett Smith took offense to it and was like, mm. yeah. she, well, gave, she gave that look to Will Smith like. You this is do. why I don't suck your dick anymore. <laughs> like, well, I mean, at this, like, she has just straight up destroyed the man that he used to be, bro. Like comedy, I think so somebody I is think going so. to get offended. Oh yeah, like yeah. that's comedy. Yeah, you, you're that's, gonna have to take a joke. That's another thing too. Is like nobody makes you hit them. You make a conscious decision to hit somebody. Right, like right. and and words are just words. <laughs> like if if you got beef with what he said, like. Maybe settle it face to face after the show, like, and just be like, "What the hell was that, man? Like, you know what's going on with my wife? Like, why would you make a joke like that? It's pretty messed up, or something, you know? Like, especially during an awards show like that, when you're you're kind of disrespecting the people that are hosting it at the same time, you're disrespecting the people that were invited. Like, I don't know, dude. But it's at the also same time, the Oscars, and that's. A uh, thing they do every single year. Yeah. They bring out a comedian and then they roast the celebrities in the audience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not like it was yeah. out of the blue. I was fucking say, Jada. Yeah. At the same time, man. I don't know. I right. mean, you can't you can't just assume that Chris Rock knew about her condition, though. You know. Yeah. That too. I mean, there's I so know. many people in medical history and stuff. He's usually kept under wraps. I'm sure she's open about it, but that doesn't mean he knows. Mm -hmm. You know. Sees a girl with her head shaved. G.I. Jane, you know? Yeah. And lots of black well, women I mean, shave their heads. Exactly. That was fact, right about to say that. Not just black women, but women in general. A lot of women in general have been shaving their heads recently. That's a, that's yeah. a new thing. And on some I women, mean, it's not really it's a pretty new hot. Thing. And Sinead O'Connor did it in the 90s. Right. But. And Jay Pinkett Smith is actually pretty hot with shaved head. Mm hmm. Ah, I still fucking hate her. Really? <laughs> oh, God. She's Niobe in the Matrix. I don't give a shit. 
like like what from what I've seen Jada Pinkett Smith do in like the past couple of years to Will Smith, fuck her. Well, she, she did. She all literally well. went. On, yeah, she literally went on live TV and like with Will Smith and was like, "This is why I fuck other people. I don't find you attractive anymore. You're not a man." Stuff like that. <laughs> fuck her. I don't, I don't fuck remember her. the conversation going she, that way. She is literally like, uh, like if that if like. If the roles were reversed and Will Smith was doing that shit to Jada, everyone would be fucking carving the flesh off of Will Smith right yeah, now, it man. Be a man or a woman hater. Well, it's just popular now to go, to hate hate guys and hate what guys do. I mean, you, you got to defend your wife and stuff, but on live Absolutely. TV on the Oscars, you know. I mean, right. if you're going to walk up there and do that, I mean, you got to be ready for the consequences, you know. Yeah. But, Props yeah. to Chris Rock for taking that hit, dude. Yeah, with he a played, smile. He, he did it professionally. Like, yeah. he, yeah. And he, he even did made it a joke after it. Yeah. Yo, Will get... Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell that he wanted to say more. Because he said, like, it was a G.I. Jane joke. And then he repeated his, you know, Will Smith repeated, like, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. <laughs> and you could tell that he was... Really wanting to say something else, he was like, eh, "How about you keep the pool boy's dick out of your wife's mouth? How about that?" <laughs> oh I bet he had like a couple zingers lined oh, up after that that he oh, wanted to yeah, say. Yeah, he wanted to roast him. Yeah, you. I mean, he's a professional comedian. He knows how to deal with hecklers. He probably had three or four more. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, he guaranteed. could have thrown out, but he shut his mouth. So I don't know. Stood his ground. Took a hit. And if you look, like, he does bring his left arm up, ready for a I second see. hit from Will Smith. So if Will Smith would have came, he would have brought it. But he, he gave him the one, you know. So props to him for that. Yeah. Yep. Kept his cool underneath a uh, very tense situation, you know. It's pretty crazy, though, man. Yeah. Uh, Will Smith put some force into that thing, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. He wound back like a tennis, like... King like Arthur Seri- or whatever. Serena. King, King yeah. Richard. <laughs> he just pulled it right out of the back pocket. <laughs> just. <laughs> yeah, it lo- I mean, dude, it, it was so hard. It looked like a punch until you looked closely. Or, or like, I thought he punched ball. him until Chris Rock said he slapped the shit out of me. He f- he did the follow through perfect. Yeah. Like all yeah. the way through. Yeah. Crazy, man. Good stuff. That was crazy, yo. Definitely, people are still talking about it now, which is it, it happened what three days ago now, and it's people like the, are still talking about the highest it. ratings that they've had in the last few years. Yeah, all, yeah, all these all these great memes. <laughs> Anybody praising Will Smith for doing what he did is, yeah, I, I don't know. Not I don't that agree way. with it. Yeah. Doesn't deserve to be praised. Mm-mm. And yeah, the yeah, Chris Rock's Chris Rock's joke wasn't that good. It was a bad joke. It wasn't that funny. But also wasn't even that harsh of a joke. True. There's been, if you go back in past years, there's been many way worse things said by other True. comedians on that show. True. Yeah. That's pretty light. Yeah, didn't, uh, what's that British dude's name? Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais. Yeah, didn't he just go to town on everybody? He did. A couple, like last year Torched or year everybody. Yeah. yeah. And not only that, they keep bringing them back. <laughs> All right, so now let's move into what I was thinking about, which uh, I don't really, I don't really know how to put this. Like, what what is your guys' spirit animal? What do you guys think your spirit animal would be? Ooh, I'd say an armadillo. <laughs> armadillo. Okay. Why I don't know. Like to jump up when you see headlights and throw into a ball. <laughs> yep. And just Total card. <laughs> well, hell, I got the face to prove it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hmm. You, you kind of feel more like a kangaroo to me. I get kangaroo vibes Those too. Are big feet. Yeah. Kangaroo. Okay. So, what An would armoroo. be the hybrid? An armoru. An armoru. Uh, like yeah. All Kang the power Dilla. of a king. Don't a they have Kang Kang a <laughs> Yeah. Don't they have a Pokemon like that? <laughs> Genghis Khan. I guess I he's kind of like an armadillo slash kangaroo. He's yeah. got the kangaroo pouch and the tiny... And he's also got a hard-shelled top. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All the power of the kangaroo, but the protection of the armadillo. Yeah. I am the kangaroo. Like unstoppable pet. <laughs> you never get to see like the mid-stage of like 
You know the Kangaskin and the baby he carries in the pouch, do you? You never get to see teenage Kangaskin. Or whatever you fucking name it. Gangaskin. Bangle Kangaskin. I don't know. I feel like a I feel like a stingray, maybe. Think or a, a st- manta ray. You think you're a manta ray, huh? Yeah. Manta. <laughs> I always picture you as a little gopher. Or, or like a meerkat. Uh, what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> as a boo foo <laughs> Oh, am I an ad? <laughs> be a meerkat. Those things are funny as shit. Yeah. Squirrely little, squirrely little dudes. We gotta go, if he's, if he's going with spirit, animal, water, we gotta go water to back it up to really properly combine these. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Unless you want to be a, a furry water creature. <laughs> yeah, that'd be ugly as hell. That's true. <laughs> um, maybe like a dolphin. A dolphin? <laughs> or like a, or a seahorse. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Those are, aren't those really tiny? I can't get pregnant, like man. I see more like a jellyfish. You think it's a jellyfish? Hmm. That's cool. The jelly ray? Just smooth. I guess. I don't know. Dude, that sounds super dangerous, man. A Neither. stingly? <laughs> a jelly ray? <laughs> <laughs> a stingly? Yeah. Didn't that a one uh, animal guy, Steve something, die from a stingray? From no, a stingly, Irwin, yeah. man. A stingly? Yeah. We're still trying to eradicate that species for what they did, but... Yeah. yeah. You Progress ever get to pet those things? Scary they, as hell. Are they no, slippery? They're, the, yeah, it's it's weird. Yeah. But yeah, I'm always afraid if I touch their back, their little pinches That's all I think about. Me. Yeah. Like, my my kids are like, whoa, dad, they're slippery. And I'm like, like ooh. <laughs> 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 I wonder the ranking after Steve Irwin died. Because uh, you know sharks are like the most feared water animal. Right. Mm-hmm. I wonder if predator. I wonder if stingrays went from to like the the second highest like instantly after that. Yeah. yeah. People just went to f- being scared as hell out of them. You know. Yeah. I mean, it also didn't help that that stingray got Steve Irwin right in the heart with it. Yeah. You know? I mean, right. Like he yeah. couldn't have crazy, poked an man. inch over in some other direction. Like right. selfish bastard. What about us? Like what are the changes, man? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so if you just keep your heart away from the steam ray, <laughs> yeah. you should be able to survive. <laughs> okay. Don't get close to me. Yeah, don't fall in love with steam rays. Jackson, what's your spirit animal? Isn't it obvious? Toucan. Toucan? <laughs> <laughs> For some reason... I'm getting like Kodiak vibes from Jackson. Kodiak? Kodiak, Kodiak bear? Yeah. I don't know why, dude. I get. Um, Is it because it, I had the same personality as the Kodiak bear from Dr. Do, Dr. Doolittle 2? <laughs> <laughs> Steve Zahn, I think he's, he's voiced by. He was pretty great. I get. There's this. There's a specific type of lemur that has really big ears and their eyeballs are super big. Yeah. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Mm hmm. And you always just see it Why do you stand think I there, look like that? stand there, looking at the camera. You know, and it's just eyes are huge. I don't see like that I little think that. thing. <laughs> <up there. laughs> I'm not saying your ears are huge. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, I know what animal you're talking about. Isn't that that thing off of Madagascar? I think it is. King, yeah, King like Julius. His, that's the only thing I'm thinking Not King thinking Julius, of. but his little friend. The oh, the little one. Yeah, the little one. <laughs> Mark. The one that's like, what are they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, that's going to bother me. I'm trying to look up with this. Thing. How are we going to splice those animals together if we don't know the name? What do you guys picture Jackson as? Or like one of those uh, fruit bats. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fruit bats are cute as shit. Mm-hmm. Would you, what did you say you felt like, Jackson? What did you feel like? What did I feel like? Yeah. Oh, toucan. Oh, a toucan. <laughs> Either that or an eagle. We just call know. you a, a fruit can. <laughs> Something with a big A fruit can. <laughs> <laughs> a fruit can. 
There you go. My spirit animal's a fucking fruit cake. <laughs> mixed fruit or something specific? I'd say mixed fruit. Yeah, definitely. He's a mixed fruit kind of guy. Connor, what do you feel like, man? I don't know, man. Maybe some type of, uh, like, like a monkey of some kind. You know, like a... <laughs> I guess like a chimpanzee or something. Is that the most common monkey? That's an ape, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a special monkey. Or a, <laughs> a like a howler monkey. monkey or a baboon or man. I don't want to be a baboon. I don't think yeah, I'm baboon. Baboons are nasty, dude. Yeah. All right. You guys want to... All right. We were trying to figure out the name of like those uh, small lemurs with the big eyes. Like, get ready for this. These things are called a tarsier. Oh my god. Those things are cool, man. Those things are cool. I might be saying it like incorrectly, but yeah, dude, these little ball of fluff with big old fucking <laughs> alien eyes. <laughs> That's Jackson. That mixed with a panda is Jackson. He's got a big old rat tail, but then he's got like almost like frog hands and feet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, I want one of these. They're probably extinct now. <laughs> So Connor's a chimp. Yeah, that or like some type of like little fox or something. I don't, know. I don't know, man. You with the blue shirt under this lighting, I'm getting like hammerhead shark vibes for sure. Hammerhead shark? Yeah. I'm sorry. Connor is always going to be the condor to me, man. The condor. condor. The flying monkey. Yeah. I get those. <clears throat> I get those. Those one geckos. Those one like green looking geckos that stick their tongue out that that unfurl. But yet they they move like forward backward forward backward forward backward forward backward forward. Yeah, forward, backward, a forward, chameleon. Backward. Yeah, a chameleon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You even good. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> it takes them like freaking thirty minutes to go like five inches. Yeah. Brain mantises are the same way, dude. Okay. The hell with those damn things, winged beasts, but spitting venom. Bastards of the sky. Yep. Uh. Die. <laughs> Ball humbug. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no. Every time I see a praying man, so I'm like, well, I guess I'm staring at this thing until it decides to leave because I'm not leaving. <laughs> yeah, I'll stare at that praying man for like 30 minutes straight. I don't care. Mm -hmm. They're uh, so crazy, man. I always pull that Seth Rogen from Pineapple Express where he's like, woo, motherfucker. Like, just <laughs> run away from it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> mm -mm. Huh. So what, what? Which one do you guys like for Connor? What would be the hybrid? Uh, I can see like whoever said like the the shark. Yeah. Okay. All right, shark door. Shark door. <laughs> just like flying a, shark does sound pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> or just like a hammer, like a, a chimpanzee with a hammerhead. <laughs> oh my god! Gosh, that's terrifying. But he's also a mermaid. <laughs> Oh, flying shark's way better. <laughs> like flying shark or flying monkey, I guess. I don't know. I like to think of a shark body, but just a chip head. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be off the Wizard of Oz right there. Yeah. Just swimming around in the water, and he's like... <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Sounds like me. And that's why you gotta watch the video... Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Versions of the podcast. Okay. And what do we think? Or Sam, what do you think your spirit animal is? Besides an armadillo. Let's just go with armadillo. Yeah, you were, that was yeah, good. A kangadilla. A kangadilla. kangadilla. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to say mine is a giraffe. I think it's pretty obvious. Well. <laughs> Do you think it's obvious that you're a giraffe? <laughs> Throw on the next round. <laughs> no, for him, right? Yeah. Oh, he was already an armadillo. Yeah. But yeah. did we combine it with anything? Yeah. Yeah, it was a... Uh, kangaroo armadillo. Kangadillo. Oh, I guess we did him first, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take mine back and say rhino now. Rhino. Yeah. <laughs> rhino. What? Rhino an armadillo. <laughs> Rhinocidillo. You won't be able to stop that thing, man. Rhinodiller? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Could you imagine... 
Hey, he's supposed to get a train dart, man. man. And he could just like run as fast as he could, and then roll up in a ball, and then it's like a boulder coming after you. Right? Yeah, yeah that's fucking scary, dude. Yeah. Yeah. How many times have you came after people like like a boulder? <laughs> like once, and they didn't move, and like I hit them like they were a boulder. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> have you ever been inside of a tire rolling down a hill? Uh, dude, it's horrible. It sucks, it's uncomfortable. It? The one I did had like mud and muck in it, and yeah. like it wasn't comfy. It was, no. It or, seems so much fun at first, but once you do it, it's once like, you, no. like whenever you're getting in, like, you're like why am I doing this? It's just, right. It just sucks. But <laughs> I did it. So <laughs> still sounds fun to me. I, when we first moved into this house we live in now, um, our, my backyard has a hill, and there was a tire in the backyard, uh, <laughs> and it was per- perfect size for Anakin. It was like a bigger tire, and I'm like, Anakin, let's push you down there. He was all for it, dude. And the moment I start rolling him, he was not for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he rolled for quite a while, dude, and he almost rolled down into like the the ditch, the ditch thing. thing. Yeah. He rolled for a while. You guys know my backyard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, he rolled for a while. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of crazy. <laughs> All right, so what do we think for Kyle? Giraffe slash. I feel like we went through this really early in the podcast, and I remember saying jaguar or panther. I'd say panther. Like, remember the way you were like laying in the chair? And you had like your arm up and your leg was over to the side. Yeah. Like, okay. Like some I kind would, of regal cat. I was gonna say orangutan. <laughs> I could also see that too. Yeah, on hairy ass giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> his, his front legs are just arms. Like. <laughs> yeah, I could see giraffe slash big cat of some kind. Yeah, go white tiger. Oh like yeah, white tiger. Well. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Snapping at people with that long neck. Yeah. A Jiriger. All right. Oh, well, are you guys prepared to go get all these tattooed on us? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, Kyle, you drew the neck tattoo. Bold of you. <laughs> okay. And this week, we have something. Uh, We've got a. I think we should probably should break. take a break. Yeah. Okay, break. let's take a break. And we're back with papers. <laughs> with papers. <in> it. <laughs> so we're calling this Little Davy's Quest. <laughs> <laughs> Little Davy's Quest. Hey. Okay. So Sam, since this is your first time on the podcast and you're our guest, I prepared a little something for you. Oh, okay. That's sweet of you. It's uh. It's kind of like a scenario that, uh, but it's going to test your knowledge on some things. Oh, okay. And we'll, uh, we'll find out if you can make it all the way to the end all right. in one piece. So picture a post nuclear apocalypse setting, right? Kind of like fallout. You've got little settlements here, little farms there, maybe a big city over here, et cetera, et cetera. Your name is <laughs> Sam G. Gamwise. <laughs> <laughs> And you've decided to move uh, to the big city from the little hovel you've been staying in for years. It's getting lonely and dangerous. So you pack your bags and start walking. You have a loaded six shot 45 revolver and an extra 12 shots and a fifth of whiskey with you. So you're walking down the road and you see a pond and you realize, hey, my water bottle's empty. You got a pure, you got a purifier for it. So, or a filter. So you don't got to worry about rads or anything. Uh, so you go up to the pond to fill your water bottle, but when you lean down, a large man toad pokes his head out of the water. Q Jackson. Hey, man. The name's Jackson Warbeck, and this is my side of the pond. You want a drink? You gotta help me out. <laughs> I'm doing what the accent <laughs> In the 90s, I was a huge Eminem fan, especially of that song that makes my pee-pee go the darn, darn, darn. The only problem is I forget the damn name. You know the name, you can have a drink. 
If not, you can fucking kick bricks. <laughs> <laughs> so you need the name. I need the fucking name. Mom? You know, I mean, got, I think it's got some, like, yo, Jessica Simpson. No, no. <laughs> no, you're going to have to help me out with them lyrics again. What? How did it go one more time? Uh, there was, there was a, the, the comic dog was in it. Uh, it, a peepee go, a doing, doing, doing. Okay. Um, it was Eminem. The way you shake it. And it was some, yeah. Uh, the, the way you shake it. The way you move it. <laughs> it make my peepee go. <laughs> um, I can't remember the name. Damn, son, come on, man. I <laughs> I gotta keep this character going the entire time. <laughs> I can't remember the name. <clears throat> ah, man, I gotta keep going now. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell him he ain't getting no water. Well, shit. Well, dude, if you can't, if you can't name the song. This was done by D12, Eminem, and the rest of the crew. Yeah, I can't <laughs> drink, bro. Hell, you, someone put the song on. I could probably sing the damn lyrics to uh, to you, but could I up and tell you the name of the song? No, I couldn't. Uh, I know it was poor. I'm sorry. I know Jessica Simpson. Yeah. You got that booty, make it go. But <laughs> <laughs> doing, doing, doing. Is that what the name of the song is yeah. called? The doing, 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 man. <laughs> No, that's not the name of the song. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I ain't never seen a... <laughs> I never seen an ass like that. Oh, you! <laughs> what the fuck are you did it, you? <laughs> Throw up your canteen, man. You cool okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Hell yeah. Full canteen, you continue your journey. Uh, so you're walking along, getting a little closer to the big city. You start hearing gunshots behind a little farmhouse. So you go back there to see what's going on. You see a man taking shots at metal targets. The man turns to face you. Cue Kyle. Oh, afternoon, partner. <laughs> <laughs> the little name's Kyle Catch around. And this here's my shooting range. Hell, it's good to see another face. Say, you want to shoot something? Are you a satyr? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see your piece. Now don't be shy. I can hit the bullseye ten out of ten times. Kind of like, uh. <laughs> Jeez. What's their names? All them superheroes, they can't miss. There's at least three of them. Come on, I know you know them. The ones that can't miss? Yeah! <laughs> can't miss what? Like, what are they shooting? They're shooting bullets like we are? Or are they are they shooting... Accuracy's the name! Yeah, okay. What superheroes shoot good? Uh, Green Arrow. That'd be one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Iron Man? Uh, That's not it. I didn't think it would be. Um, <laughs> Come oh, on, City Slicker. Uh, you got two more. Bullseye? That's one. Bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> one more. <laughs> You're so close. What's he got so far? Um, you got Bullseye? Bullseye and... Um, did I say Hawkeye? No, Green Arrow? Yeah, you you said, said, green said Green Arrow, arrow. but you just yeah. said... Oh, Hawkeye? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, duh. <laughs> You're crack shot, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> You're doing actually pretty good. I didn't know how much you knew, so I was like, I don't know how hard I should make these. Uh, uh, so so you... You, <laughs> you answered the question correctly. You hit six out of six. And, uh, and reloaded your piece and continued on your way. 
So you come to a, a barricade in the road, even though you can see the city right there behind it. Six men are armed in front, and one man stands above the barricade. He's dressed in disco clothes and wears an Afro wig. <laughs> <laughs> he yells from the top of the barricade. Q Connor. <laughs> Yo, the name's Connor Bee Gees, baby. You came to the right club. How are we going to bring... <laughs> Here we know how to square up and put down. <laughs> That's right. Unless you're fixing to fight, you better be ready to bring the groove. If you want to pass this barricade, you got to show us what you got. Pick any four movies where dancing is the star, baby. Take any dance from these movies and shine, player. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, oh, that was excellent. <laughs> dance movies, huh? My favorite. Uh, <laughs> you got served? I don't know. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, that's one. Uh, dirty dancing. Dirty dancing. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> uh, Black Swan. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'll count it. <laughs> Hot movie, by the way. Go on. Save the last dance. You on a roll, Sam? <laughs> now go on, roll past this barricade. I'm a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> Shit. All right, that's it, man. This this was gonna go on longer, but you got them all right. So good for you. Oh, you made it to I'm the big city. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's, let's see like what, a, what would have happened if uh, he could not fill his canteen. Okay, so if he couldn't fill his canteen, he would have had to drink the fifth of whiskey to stay oh, hydrated. Man, see you know. Okay. So he would have been a little I drunk almost. for the shooting range, which would have required him to use twelve bullets. Instead of just six. He had 18 mm. total, right? So okay. he only had, had six rounds left. Damn, I'm disappointed. If he didn't get the questions right for Kyle, he would have accidentally shot himself in the leg also. <laughs> so he would have been limping, right? So by the time he got to Connor, he would have been drunk. Well, if he was drunk and limping, he would have just died. But I'll tell you why. So if he was just drunk, he would have failed the dancing competition and had to shoot his way out. As long as he had the 12 bullets, he would have made it because there's seven total people, right? But if he shot himself in the leg and was limping, he would have failed the dance contest. And if he was drunk, he would have had to use 12 bullets and only had six left. So he would have been killed by the last man standing. Okay. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> so I was over here like counting like how many bullets he said and how many he was shot. I'm like, there's a trick in here. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. That was impressive, dude. Uh, wow. Well, what, what really makes me feel like a dumb fuck is that uh, I struggled on the Marvel crap. I struggled on um, the music crap. But I could tell you every damn dance movie you yeah. could ever want to. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude, when I looked at that, I'm like, dude, I don't know if I could even name four movies. I, did, you know? like, <laughs> like, bro, I, I could probably name like ten movies. Like, okay, all right, well, back okay, off, well, that, that makes We me get it, Jack. <laughs> I'm no, surprised I'm, you didn't say Footloose. All right, let's see you do it, Jack. Okay, well, Go I was trying it. to name something. Yeah. <laughs> Go okay. for it, Jack Dame 10. All right, well, well, it's going to be hard to not take it back <laughs> off the <laughs> Name but, five more, then. Huh? Name five more, Do then. Do it. Name five more? Do it. Yeah. All right, step up. Okay. Step down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dirty Dancing 2, Havana Nights. Okay. Step up two, step up three, step up <laughs> three. <laughs> Bring it on. And Truly then you got all the you got serves. Hey. There's so many you got serves. Yep. You did it, Jack. You yeah, sure you made it. <laughs> you cheated. <laughs> and then if, you, if you if you want to get technical with it, you could probably say like some of those old musicals could be considered dance movies or whatever. What's the one with John Travolta that everybody loves? Grease. Grease, yeah. yeah. Mm. To this day, I have never watched Grease. Me I, neither. I like that movie more and more as I get older. I hated it when I was younger. But I have wants a to hard, be the greaser. Yeah. Yeah. I have a hard time with like perverting songs. Like if you can fit a word in there with the same syllables and everything and complete the sentence, just make it sound dumb, funny, whatever. But that's all I do every grease. Because it's just about a whole bunch of teenagers. I mean <laughs> yeah. like just like and they're all you, dudes you know what they're, they're trying to get at. Yeah. Like just 
And every woman out there, it's either Fifty Shades of Grey or Grease. And so, like, Fifty Shades of Grey, fuck, get the fuck out of here. And then, like, you got Grease, and you're like, okay. Princess Bride and Stardust are the two girl movies I like. But Princess you could argue Bride's Princess awesome. Bride is an adventure movie. My yeah. favorite chick flick, if you want to call it, is uh, Say It Isn't So. You ever okay. seen it? I don't think so. Uh, boy meets girl, boy is adopted, and uh, they hook up. And um, while he's getting it on uh, with her, like uh, there was a phone call. He wasn't going to get it, so the answering machine picked it up, and you can hear every word. You know, it's the answering machine. Well, it turns out, like... His mom is so and so. Well, that so and so is that that girl is, that you're doing. That's her mom. So that's your sister. So oh. the whole town finds out about it. He gets fired from his job, and it's it's comedy. It's uh, that's crazy. But <laughs> yeah, and then like she goes off to marry somebody else, and like some big old rich pot farmer or something like that. And um, yeah, uh, turns out it's not his sister. So he goes through hell and back. It's just. What's it's, it called? Say it isn't so. It's that got Heather Graham. Funny and, as shit, um, man. Who was the guy from? Uh, he was the football dude on American Pie. Chris Klein. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. It's it's okay. those two. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Mm. yeah. If I gotta pick a favorite chick flick movie, it's gotta be Mean Girls, man. I guess if I gotta pick one. Yeah. <laughs> I love Mean Girls, man. Mean Girls, <laughs> mean girls <laughs> is the shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that scene with the mascot. <laughs> I don't know. To me, like, anyway. it seems like Mean Girls is like that one movie that really made the rounds to everybody. Yeah. But Mine is White Girls. That's not a chick flick. <laughs> <laughs> that's just a straight up comedy. Whatever, man. <laughs> Terry Crews was gold in that movie. Though. Yeah, he was. Yeah, white chicks. Movie's great. I forget. Ah, <sighs> oh, man. Terry Crews was supposed to do some other movie where he's supposed to play like the big bad buff dude again. On Ecstasy and... Jump. <laughs> <laughs> but he turned it down in favor for white chicks because he didn't want to get typecasted as just the big mean buff dude that was going to be a gangster or whatever. He was like, it's like, man, I got kids and I'm a family man. So I need to show that I can do other stuff than this. Right. Terry Crews is such a good guy. He is. Terry Crews, come on this podcast if you ever hear this. Yeah. <laughs> I love I'm that. sure you've probably Cruise listened to If you yeah. have heard this podcast already and you've listened to it so far, you're probably like, no way am I coming on. But <laughs> please do. <laughs> he seems like a cool guy. <clears throat> want to ask him about how Crackdown 3 went. Or yeah. Like what they made him do and all that. You know? Yeah. Cool to pick his brain. I should have asked Michael Rosenbaum to come on the podcast. That would have been funny to hear his his response. Uh, No. (laughs) Thank you. Yeah. Where? Joplin. (laughs) My friends. We could have done a resume or something. I just would have been been crazy if he was like, yeah, man, that'd be awesome. Preston Lacey lives here in Joplin. We're having a tough time trying to get him. (laughs) (laughs) Are we? (laughs) Have we even tried? We've had our feelers out, yes. yes. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't gotten hold of anybody to talk to Preston Lacey on here. I mean, I've been, like, like thinking about it, you know. And that's part of the secret. Sending your vibes out into the universe? Yeah. Yeah. I'm putting it out there. I'll take Wee Man too, Or. Either or. Well, this next segment, I'd like to... Formerly known as uh, Connor's Ponders. Uh, whoa. Yes, and presently known as Connor's Ponders. Uh, how about Connor's Queries? <laughs> okay. <that works. laughs> no. Uh, so I was just going to... Well, what about Connor's Quizzical Quandaries? <laughs> or Connor's Cube. Connor's Puzzle Cube. <laughs> uh, why... Why do we still play video games? Like, what do we get out of it? Like, that's the real question. Why Why, not? why would we even... Why would we recommend to other adults to play video games that don't normally? You know? Like, what... What is it? What What is it that, that we see that others don't see? You know? Yeah. Why not? I mean, it, it's one, it's something to do, something to pass time by, and if you don't want to do your laundry, you can definitely do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, that's the thing, though, right? Is like, almost any time you're playing video games, you could be like, 
I could be doing something I else hate constructive. That feeling. Gosh, <laughs> I hate it. You know, I mean, but that's true for anything. You know, you're watching yeah. sports, watching TV, uh, reading a book. Like it's all. Yeah. I can it's be an escape. Yeah. It's an escape from the yeah. mundane, like stuff that you have to do every single day. Yeah. So. And what kind of bothers me about it, about the stigma of playing video games, is that people kind of look down on you for playing video games. But at the same time, they go home and just watch TV or watch a movie all night. <laughs> that is yeah. good. Thing, and it's yeah. like, what is the difference? There is zero difference. Right. Like, yeah. The only difference is you're you're sitting there and ex- totally like, vegging out. You're vegging out, yeah. but whenever you're playing a video game, you're actively participating in the story that you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Or challenging yourself <laughs> or competing. Yeah. Or- yeah. I've even met people that are like the opposite of that, that where they think watching TV is a complete waste of time, but they play video games like nonstop. That's like me. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't watch. I, if I do, it's cartoons with my kids. I can tell you any damn cartoon character and all that jazz, but <laughs> yeah, like man. all Timmy like the Turner? serious stuff, yeah. like uh, Will Smith thing. I've, I didn't find out until like everybody started talking about it. I don't watch news or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't watch TV. I just play video games. If I don't, don't film. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For me, or go, go David. No, you're good. Um, it, it, some of the story you get in video games, you just can't find in TV. Just right. being able to be the one that's making the story happen in front of you. Yeah. Making something crazy happen in front of you. You know? I would say, right. like, that can't be said anything better, or I don't know how I'm trying to say this. I mean, the best way I can give an example of that is any good horror game that you play. Like, watching a horror movie and playing a horror game are two completely different oh, things. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. For mm-hmm. sure. Like, playing a horror game, you Oof. really feel the anxiety of, yeah. like, dude, I gotta go down this corridor. I know something messed up is gonna mm-hmm. happen, but that's I gotta what, do it. That's the Dawn. worst part, yeah. I Until I, Dawn was pretty fun. Until Dawn was fun. That was crazy. The game I always think of is... The playable teaser for Silent Hill, man. Oh, man. Oh, there ain't yeah. no just Silent Hill. Yeah. I will never delete that off of my PS4. Like, Dude. Like, it is stuck just on there. Just those sirens. So I got that. It's just, and everything's all still. It just sets that mood, that atmosphere. As I thought, I don't know. Silent Hill, I thought it was just nothing but a work of art. Mm-hmm. I really In hope, a dark, uh, really jacked up way, but still. Yeah, I really hope that PS4's, like, with uh, that original PT thing still on it, I hope those become insanely expensive in the future because I they still probably got will. It. Yeah, <clears throat> um, I played the PC remake. <laughs> it's just not as good. It's not as smooth, and it doesn't look as good. Well, and you played that forever ago. There's so much better versions out now. By now, well, I mean, if they made it look exactly like the PS4 version, then yeah. Right. But all the cuts that happen. Like within that game, just don't look right. Listen to this Sony pony. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember playing. Uh, I played Dead Space a couple years ago. <clears throat> whenever it was like added to backwards compatibility on Xbox, yes. And uh, that game, I remember when I like the first couple hours, dude. Every time I went to play it, I was like, "Do I even want to play this?" Because it was like. My adrenaline's pumping like the whole time the controller's in my hand up until a certain point when Isaac becomes just an utter badass and then you're you're not really all that scared of stuff and then it becomes more like a Doom type experience. Yeah. But like I'm still reluctant to play horror games. Like I've always wanted to get into the evil within and every time I finally like get into the place at the beginning of the game I'm like Ooh, I don't <laughs> know about this. Yeah. Like, But I'll watch horror movies all day any day. Like I love them. <clears throat> kind of how I felt about the uh, Resident Evil 2 remake. I started mm-hmm. playing it and like I love how beautiful it is and stuff but I'm just like I don't really get into horror games you yeah. know so just kind of wasted the money. See I don't <clears throat> I don't mind playing horror games if I know that I've got people watching me play it. It's way more yeah. fun. And that, that are way. guiding me guiding me through it you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. Whenever I was playing Resident Evil 7 when you guys were guiding me through it that was so much fun. I need to go back and finish that. I think that'd be really fun to it, finish the rest yeah, of that. It's yeah. fun to have friends like to be there just to laugh at you freaking out. Right. <laughs> um, that, yeah, that was really, really fun. Yeah. I think another big 
pull for me in video games is like basically just escapism. But like I've always been enamored by like exotic places. So games like uh, like that's one of the big things for like with WoW for me why I keep going back is because of all the different geographical regions and stuff that are so like juxtaposed. So different. Or like all the scenery. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then like you know with Elden Ring like. Kalid is completely different than like the uh, Altus Plateau is completely different than Stormvale is, and there's like so many different varying places or that's why I love the Uncharted games so much because you're always out in the, yeah. a jungle or ruins or something like just being able to like jump into another world or whatever for a while the stories have really improved in the last like 10 years you know mm-hmm. for video games and yeah you know, I mean, nowadays you could put any game on easy if it's like a story game, you know? Yeah. It's not very I hard. Do that, I do that quite often. If I'm just like, when I'm, I'm playing Half-Life right now, it's on easy because I'm, I'm just playing it for the story. And I, yeah. I'm having a blast because of it. Yeah. yeah. I did that for uh, God of War. Yeah. I God of War is a good example of that. That game just becomes so much fun. It just becomes, you feel like a god. And yeah. That's what you should feel like. That's how I played it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was easy. I beat everything yeah. first try. I didn't have any challenge. I wanted to play it just because I just wanted to enjoy looking at the game and enjoy the story. I didn't want it to be difficult. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I did with The Last of Us. Because that game's, that's all about story. And I was like, I don't really want to get, I played it one time. And I got stuck on a part with a bunch of the like the clickers and yeah. stuff, and I was just like, dude, I don't want to be stuck sneaking around in the shadows and like throwing beer bottles. Like, I just want to right like get through the game so I can see what happens at the end. Right. See, so, because I'm like unlock or what is it like unlocking or unleashing or uh, freeing a dragon. Are, are we talking about the same God of War one with the sun? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like a like I can't find like the third rune. And so, like, um, I need to pick it back up. I just picked up another game, went on with it. But, uh, no, I mean, it's it's a great game. And, like, what you were talking about, like, just playing it on easy and just enjoying, the like, the story. And, like, mm-hmm. I'm at that point. I'm tired of the fights and the long ass, just this, that, and the other. It's, <laughs> yeah. Just come on. Yeah, when you get older, it's... it's big, it's... too. So, like, mm-hmm. yeah. I keep going around all the water and it just... Yeah. Yeah, you get older, and at a certain point, you're just like, man, I don't really have time to, like, be stuck at the same checkpoint for an hour anymore. You right. Know, like, yeah. Uh, whenever I, like, first became a dad, I'd wake up hours before anybody would, be, like, get yep. up <laughs> just so I'd play the game. It was all Skyrim. Yeah, before I started running. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Khajiit! <laughs> yeah, either way. <laughs> yeah, Khajiit, man. They're badass. Yeah, Khajiit are badass. That's yeah, usually what I would choose. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I always went Argonian because I never wanted to. I wanted to, to so like, bad. I just never wanted to run into that problem of can't breathe underwater. Oh, so, yeah. So I was like, well, if I pick Argonian, like, then I never have that problem, and I could just level everything else up. I just yeah. thought having, like, a... Black Panther night blade with like yep. two daggers was the sickest thing ever, dude. Oh yeah. So like I always pick pockets and pick doors and chests and shit and Dark Elf over here, Reckon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a dark Elf on every yeah. Elder Scrolls or D and D type game. I I stopped They're liking mistreated, man. They really are. <laughs> I stopped liking Dark Elves after Morrowind because they were just so ugly in that game. I was right about to bring up that I game. I was just like, ugh, dude. <laughs> it's their homeland, though, man. Yeah. So they have a right to be pissed yeah. at everybody. <laughs> yeah. That's what I gotta say. <laughs> you came to our land? <laughs> Eat a pineapple? I still remember <laughs> that city. <laughs> I still remember that city in, in Morrowind that was just like those huge pyramids. There was like four of them. And they were like little cities inside the pyramids. And it took yeah. you forever to run around that place, dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. I always remember, because it takes so long, you're just jumping the whole time. Your acrobatics keep going yep. up, you know. Love it. Which is, dude, that's how it is in real life, man. Mm-hmm. The more you jump, the better you get at jumping. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I hated that. <laughs> I hated that when I first started playing those games, because I was so used to, like, Final Fantasy, where, like, if your character levels up, their stats go up. If they level up, their stats go up. Like, like all of them at the same time. Yeah, yeah. but then, like, in, in uh, like, Morrowind or Oblivion, it's, like, what you do levels that up, which is totally realistic. Like, the more you use a sword, the better you're going to get with the sword. And you got to sleep to actually get the level up? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Bastards. that's crazy. But, like, then I, I went back and played Morrowind, and I was like, I actually like this a lot. That, like, you, you can really focus on what's important to you while you're playing. Right. 
I haven't played that game since it was on Xbox. That was a long time ago. Yeah. That was a banger for me, that and Fable. Mm-hmm. Fable was so fun. Uh, I was yeah. listening to one of y'all's podcasts today, and I think it was something about like, uh, I am the Santa or something like that. I don't know. It, it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was Morrowind, and yeah, and yeah, it just, I don't know. Yeah. So good. Dude. It just so it good. just made me like think of like I don't know Fable was brought up and I totally totally forgot about Fable. I love that yeah. damn game, mm-hmm. but it was like childish. She so like I, I don't know. I wanted more blood, more crazy shit. You know. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's another thing though too is like role playing and stepping into the role of a character that you can shape through the decisions that you make and affect your relationships with like all the Bioware games from back in the day, like Knights of the Old Republic and the Mass Effect games and stuff. I would like really dive into the character and like oh, yeah. the relationships that I built and the characters I was like romancing and fighting with and like dude it was it, I got crazy in those games man. I always got oh, made yeah. fun of like, for yeah. that. like my brothers were like just do it I was like shut up yeah I'm the youngest of four like other brothers so oh same yeah yeah, yeah. I still want to go back and play Mass Effect 2 because I want to romance Miranda <laughs> I remember I was trying to romance Miranda but then I also had a thing for Liara so yeah. I was trying to play them both, and then they started getting <laughs> they started getting clever about it. Yeah. So they'd be like, "What the f- Liara just told me you were telling her all this <laughs> shit," and I was like, "Crap!" And then I like went down below decks and like remember Jack, the, the yeah, buzz the girl? chick. Yeah. I went down there and she's like chilling, and I'm like, "Hey, what's going on?" And she's like, "Hey, dude, I just want to get my rocks off." And I was like, "Same." And we just like did it, and then Liara and Miranda wouldn't talk to me for the rest of the game because yeah. they're like, "You're a dirt bag," and I'm like, "Man, I'm Commander Shepard, dude. I get what I want in the Normandy." but it like it really did like ruin the rest of the game because i'm like man i really wanted to like get with one of these cool chicks you know (laughs) (laughs) you said you get with the botic freak (laughs) yeah she She was a freak too like a shruggish jack man yeah Yeah. she is couldn't resist the the leather straps i don't know what she was wearing (laughs) (laughs) so connor tell us the story uh, I think you already told enough stories tonight. Yeah. <laughs> really? You don't want to tell the story? Kyle, yeah. tell us a story. <laughs> About Calypso. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have the story Connor has, so I don't have any story <laughs> banked for today. Uh, I don't really want to, I don't know. I told the story where I thought I got peed on, man. Like, I, 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 can, I gotta space these things out. Man. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. The story he thought he got peed on. Dude, he clarified that he did it. Up until tonight, I thought you got peed on too. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. You're, yeah, it was like it was. If you, it was like seconds, <laughs> like a millisecond from getting peed on. You know. Yeah. I told you, dude. That yeah. chick was shameless as hell. Since yeah. I felt the warmth. Oh, oh cool. okay. <laughs> We're going to talk about the fake boob one. Yeah. Okay, oh. we can talk about that oh, one. Yeah. I, ta- I say we were going to bring that up. Oh, wait. You have another crazy story? I'll, Never mind. You have, we have yeah. crazy stories. What am yeah. I saying? I was going to tell the story of the first girlfriend, but we'll oh, get to okay. that another uh, day. Only the <laughs> The quotes girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this, this one year, um, maybe like... I don't know, 14 or 15, we went to um, a friend of David's parents who were having, like, a Halloween party, right? And, uh, I don't know, did did Amanda have a thing for you, David? I think she did. I think she liked you, right? Uh, yeah, I found out way later that, yeah, at, the, at that time she did. Okay, because I'm pretty sure what happened to me was meant for you. So... <laughs> uh, <laughs> So uh, we show up there. I think it was. I think it was my first time at their house. I want to say. Uh, yeah, you've only been there. You only even ever went there like what three or four times total, maybe. Yeah. So yeah, this maybe is probably the like, first or second time. Like Halloween parties and like New Year's Eve for yeah. like a year or two. That was about it. That <laughs> just thought of the, the creek story with Daniel, but I don't. I don't know oh my god! I'm not, I'm not gonna tell that <laughs> yeah. So for context, <laughs> we need to tell that story all, the podcast. All these stories compound. Yeah. Oh, for yeah. for context, like Daniel was my friend, but not really your friend. But I kind of by virtue, you guys were acquaintances. Yeah, I wasn't. And he was our age, and then Amanda was like your age, right, Kyle? Or, she was like my age or a year older than me. Yeah. So. 
setting the stage. So these are the siblings that we're hanging out with at this yep. Halloween party. Amanda had her friends. <laughs> I guess we would technically be Daniel's friends. Um, mm-hmm. So we were all just hanging out. I was just minding my own business, man, like I usually do. I'm not trying to start any trouble at someone's house. Well, I'm just chilling. Next thing I know, I got hit in the face with something. I'm confused, dude. I'm like, what just hit me? Which one of y'all hit me? (laughs) And so I look down, and it's this, like, half boob made out of silicone. And I, I remember seeing, like, the nipple and stuff. I'm like... Why did I just get hit with the like a boob? <laughs> and I see these girls like laughing in the corner, and then like they want their boob back. So, <laughs> so she just like tucks it back into her bra. And what? It's, like, oh, it was what? warm too. Yeah, it was warm. It was weird. <laughs> like I wiped the sweat off you. Yeah. Oh. So I guess, oh. guess she had a problem. Yeah. Developing or something. I don't know. Yeah, but, uh, got there's a own deal. It was it was very weird. Not the not the last time I got hit by something in the face, but definitely the weirdest thing I've been hit in the face by. Yeah. I got hit in the face uh with a uh, soiled diaper one time. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. I oh thought my God. uh well Jeez, that shit. Uh, <laughs> 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 that ass? Just about, man. I was sitting there doing my homework and like um everybody's just doing their own stupid crap in the living room and um I feel like this, like this hit on my face and you're like confused because I don't know. Right. Yeah. Uh, and you're wondering, like, I don't know, you're looking around, you see it and you focus and you're like, what the hell? <laughs> so like, I picked it up. I was pissed. And like, everybody's all laughing and everything. And, uh, I thought my big brother threw it. My big brother, Matt, great six, six, great big old dude. Yeah. And like, uh, it's his son. His, his son's diaper so he threw it that's that's what it clicked in my mind so i threw it at him while i just sidearmed it it was a crazy freak shot i can never do it again well it aimed straight for his face and as soon as i let go i hear my other brother go sam i did it and like oh. as soon as it left i was like <gasps> and like it was like slow motion it just it hit him in the face <laughs> he stood up he was so pissed off i just stood still like <gasps> like mouth wide open and everything oh. that was so <laughs> stupid Never got hit for it though, but oh man, man, I know, I know, I know your your pain. Yeah, I never not a boob though. It's more <laughs> of a blessing. <laughs> Rather the boob than the the shitty diaper. Oh dog. man, have we have we told the Wemo story on the podcast yet? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah, well, it was uh, it was I don't know if it was the same night, but it was some I other think time. It was we- the same night. Yeah, we were all over there, might have been. and uh, Daniel had just gotten a Wii for his birthday. Might have been his birthday party or something. Maybe it was just a, I don't know. Anyway, but there was like a bunch of people there. They were all hanging out, and we were downstairs, and the Wii was hooked up in like their downstairs living room area. <laughs> and all night, Daniel was being like just uh, a Nazi about the wrist strap. He was like, if you guys are going to play my Wii, you're going to have the wrist strap on. Blah, 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 blah. And so yeah. he's like, I'm going to go upstairs and get a drink or something. And so he goes upstairs <laughs> and Connor picks up the Wii remote and he's like, let's play some, was it baseball? <laughs> so, let's play some baseball or whatever. And I, I think I was getting ready to pitch and Connor was like, fuck this, I'm hitting this out of the park and he wraps a dollar bill around the controller. Does not put the wrist strap on. <laughs> And then he goes to swing, dude, like, for his life. And the controller just flies out of his hand and slams against the wall. <laughs> or it was, like, a cabinet door or something. It was drywall, dude. Was it drywall? <laughs> the controller get stuck in the drywall? No, it just... No? I don't know. There's a hole in it. Like, yeah. Like, okay. yeah. Whoops. Didn't break the controller somehow, some way. But we all just looked at each other and we're like, wrist straps? <laughs> <laughs> wrist straps. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. The question at the time was, Connor, why do you just wrap that controller in a dollar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what G does, dude. Yeah. But it was like all night, Connor was giving Daniel grief about, like, dude, this is, the wrist straps are for children. Like, <laughs> so the minute Daniel was out of the room, he was like, fuck the wrist strap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Why did you wrap a dollar bill around? Right? <laughs> you laying some money on See, it? Like, like, what? It's, it, man. It's, it's cool, man. It's like, this is gonna be so pimp. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you struck God. you struck out too, man. One dollar bill! <laughs> <laughs> did you hit the ball? No. Yeah, for sure it was a strike. <laughs> uh, 
Dude, there's that there's would be no mo- resistance, dude. That, yeah. thing slid, that thing slid out so easily, dude. Oh my gosh. God, dude. <sighs> oh my gosh, that was so great. That was awesome. All right, let's move into Yo Dude, check this out. Yo Dude, check this out. Apparently, the ancient Romans used to brush their teeth with urine from Portugal because they believed that the, the ammonia in the urine made their teeth whiter. And it became such a big fad that uh, people continued doing this and using it as mouthwash until the 18th century. Wow. Man piss? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just the Portuguese. Okay. For some reason. That's crazy. Yeah, speaking know. of pee, it's the pee what, episode. What did they use for a toothbrush? Mm-hmm. A toothbrush? <laughs> you can see. Yeah, yeah. Probably just like straw and a stick. I don't know, man. I mean, they were pretty smart, though. Like to know that there's ammonia in pee. Like, I don't know. Maybe they were like, this smells funny. Let's <laughs> <laughs> brush our teeth with it. <laughs> <laughs> This tastes like salt. I like salt. <laughs> Brush my teeth. Yeah, it's, I think I might drink a little this time. <laughs> it's terrible and I like the taste. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to hear the, the name of this episode. <laughs> uh, yo, dude, check this out. Um, so I guess 30 minutes of exercise may reduce depression symptoms and they like, there's an article about it. Um, they're talking about how just, you know, some sort of exercise for a little while. And then if you need to go to a therapist, but they're saying, uh, for like, th- for like 30 minutes, of uh, exercise, they, the people have like about 75 minutes of time where they're not depressed. So, like, after filling out questionnaires and stuff like that. And they did the case study with people that would just sit at home like normal, you know? So it's like an immediate remedy. Yes. That's pretty cool. And they, I guess some people that had to go to therapy, um, they would go, they would exercise right before going into the therapist. And they had better results and, like, better rapport with their therapist. Stuff like that, you know? Dang. So it seemed like, at least for a short period... (laughs) You do have some benefits from exercise, and then, you know, you get healthy and fit, then, you know, you feel better, you know? It does make me feel pretty good immediately after my runs, for, for I guess, about a couple hours. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Study, David. Yeah. I like how you're like, yeah, like, running for 30 minutes, like, relieves depression, <laughs> or, like, I guess you could go to a therapist or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could do that. Yo, dude, check this out. So I was eating some green olives, and I was wondering what the what the red thing in the middle of the pimentos were. Pimento. And I did some research and found on the website Mental Floss that pimentos start out their life as a variety of it's a chili pepper called the cherry pepper, and <clears throat> the sweet of the pepper. Uh, it's a sweeter bell pepper, and it's very mild. And it actually has the lowest Scoville rating of all the chilies that are out there. Wow. Wow. And basically, they have this little punch. Like, they used to cut them s- separately and just place them inside green olives and like slice them themselves, they would obviously mix the chilies up, make the pimento paste or whatever, get it to harden, and then they would cut it up, put it in themselves. And then in the 1962, this guy made uh, a machine that punches out the top of of a green <laughs> olive with the X shape, and that also at the same time depits it, and it shoves a pimento in there. Nice. Yes. And that is that is where this came from. Gotta love it. The pimento inside the green olive. I was thinking today, I'm like, dude, I want some green olives and I want some of that juice, you know? Yeah. Oh, I love Just green a little, olives. A little sip. 
Oh, Dude, I gotta tell you, like one of my favorite alcoholic drinks is like a really dirty vodka martini with some green olives in it, dude. It's so good. How dirty? <laughs> <laughs> Real dirty. <laughs> Real dirty. Like half and half, man. Like so dirty. Dirty boy. <laughs> uh, yo, dude, check this out. Uh, this is uh, gonna be one for all you horror aficionados. Or aficionados out there. <laughs> um, uh, Phil Tippett. Um, he's an American movie director, um, Oscar and a Emmy Award winning visual effects supervisor and producer. Uh, he's worked on Star Wars. Uh, the original. Yeah, the original trilogy. Uh, Jurassic Park, Robocop. Um, just a couple of things, but he has recently released a movie called Mad God that is a stop motion claymation type movie. And it is an hour and 20 minutes of just pure, like, nightmare fuel. Like, it is pretty great. Like, as I was watching it, I was like, man, I should feel like I should be listening to some kind of doom metal album or something like that while I'm watching this. Also taking some LSD. Oh, no, you would not want to do that with this Dude, movie. Dude, this movie looks insane, man. It puts, like, Guillermo del Toro's stuff. Like, t- makes it look like a kid's movie, man. Like... From what I've gathered in this movie, like, it kind of feels like a descent into hell, you know? Like, like the whole plot of the movie just follows this uh, guy who is, no, he's called online the master assassin. He looks like somebody <laughs> that, he looks like somebody that is from Fallout. You know, he's got the gas mask, but he's got like a bowler <coughs> hat that he wears and a big old trench coat. And it just shows the beginning of the movie is him being lowered into like this weird crazy world and the move like he's basically the um i guess like the pilot or the or i guess like he's like the driven force like behind this movie like you're just following him and you're just watching what this dude is going through as he's going through this movie or going through this land but this movie took 30 years to make this movie started being made um, right after Jurassic Park, and then it took thirty five <laughs> years to make. So, why it takes so long? Um, it was just something that he just kept chipping away at over and over, like because he was doing it all by himself for the most part. Okay. But um, as of right now, it's got like a ninety seven percent Rotten Tomato. Uh, Rotten Tomato. Like, yeah. Rotten Tomato rating. Um, it's gotten pretty good, like, critical appraise, but, uh, I feel like there's a pretty good possibility that you and you probably want to like it, because you are not into this kind of stuff. Okay. But, if you're really into just, like, looking at, like, weird horror stuff, like, stuff that's just mainly meant to be horrific looking, and not really any kind of story or anything like that, check it out. Huh. What's it called? It's called Mad God. Mad God. Yeah, watch the trailer for it, man. It looks wild. Mm, yeah, I would, that, that's yeah. what I would say. Like, watch the trailer. If you think that's something that'll interest you, check it out. But uh, what's that movie trailer that you posted? Men is that? What it yeah, was it's a A twenty four film by the guy that wrote um, Ex Machina and uh, Annihilation. Annihilation. Yeah, Alex Garland, I think, is his name. Yeah, and it's like about this girl that goes to live in this. Like, this dude has a room for rent in this old, like, British mansion type deal. And some, like, weird stuff starts going on. And she starts to notice that, like, everywhere she goes, she sees this guy in a different role. So, like, she goes to the bar. And the bartender is him, but with, like, a different haircut and a different outfit. And then she, like, talks to a guy on a park bench. Like, she talks to a priest at one point. And the priest is him, but in, like, you know. Clergy stuff. Clergy Mm -hmm. stuff, yeah. Yeah. And she starts to notice, and she's like, she'll, she's like, at one scene, she's like talking to the, the priest, and she's like, I feel like this guy's been stalking me. But then she starts to realize that that's the guy, you know? Mm-hmm. And then stuff just starts getting like weird and crazy at the end. But like, the trailer looks, makes it look pretty good. And I loved Ex Machina. It's like one of my favorite movies. So, is it like a Stepford Wives type thing? I don't know, man. It's definitely they, a, a horror a thriller. In that one? In Ex Machina? Stepford no. Wives. Oh, Stepford Wives. I don't know. Uh, I know which with. Um, I know what you're talking about. Nicole Kidman. Yeah, I've never seen it. 
Ah, uh, I think it. Either way, go on. Sorry. Yeah. I'm thinking robots. Are you thinking robots? <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's robots. Yeah, like she's at like, an amuse robot amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, do do don't, do like, do do. don't they like sell <laughs> robot wives to people in that movie? Isn't that the thing? That yeah. sounds right. Or that, maybe that was a different movie, but I think that was the one. Yeah. Who knows, man? <clears throat> it's like a allegory for how men treat women or something like that. Like robots. <laughs> one crazy ass woman's dream of women. <laughs> yeah, it would be a dream, but that's not how, like, real. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like men's... it was a great movie, though. All, the, all in all. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, you don't want a robot wife, man. No, she pulled that dick right off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cut your dick off and hand it to your partner. <laughs> I would hate to Smoking. be that guy that got his dick cut off, man. <laughs> You'll yeah, see. you're talking about that. Uh, and you'd like leave town, dude. Like, <laughs> talking like, about the Lorena Bobbitt chick. It wasn't that it. Yeah, like in the '90s or whatever. She cut that dude's dick off. I thought she threw it out the it window off. on the highway. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, I thought she. Bit I've it heard off. two separate instances. What like, a there's, bitch. there's one where girl cut guys, you know, fan off and <laughs> threw it out the window on the highway, and then there was another one where she did the same thing, but she put it down the. Uh, garbage garbage disposal. Disposal. Yeah, the garbage disposal. Fuck that. You ain't never gonna get that back. <laughs> yeah, she made sure of that one. That's crazy, man. What a dirty dish rag, <laughs> man. You can't do that. You shred someone's... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, cut off her tit. <laughs> oh, my no, God. Don't go there, to, man. To throw it at her. Like, you got my dick. Uh, you <laughs> You'd much rather have your penis flattened in glass panes and play ping pong with somebody else. He still hasn't watched it. <laughs> yeah, I know. You'll get there. Do you have Paramount Plus? Uh, no, but I want to get it. I just found out that we have it, so I can watch the Halo movie or the Halo. I was gonna wait until I've been seeing the Halo show was done, that. and then just get the trial and binge watch it during my trial, and then end my trial. But now, like, I guess. I was like, babe, we gotta get Paramount Plus. Jackass is on there. She's like, well, we already have it. I'm like, what? Cool, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking forward to the Blu-ray coming out on uh, for Jackass Forever. Yeah, man. That, oh, I don't so really buy much Blu-rays anymore. I just watch everything online for the most part. But I want those deleted scenes, and hopefully, there's a commentary on this one, man. There was not mm. a commentary for Jackass 3D. But the first two commentaries for the first two movies are great. Yeah. All right. Does anybody else have any yo dudes? Anybody else? Uh, yeah. I think we're good, bruh. All right. I think we can call that an episode. Well, thank you for crashing with friends. Sam, thank you for coming to be on the episode tonight. Thank you for having me. You're welcome, man. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week, and we'll see you guys all next week. All right. Bye. I am Mr. We Davies. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Crashing with friends. Podcast.